it's been a very busy and crazy couple of months for OpenAI. Uh, so let's review some of the, like the Coles notes, if you will. They roll out chat GPT 4.0 that just happened. And it's absolutely insane. Oh. Um, a few very high profile departures, including a co-founder and people responsible for ensuring these tools align with the best interests of humanity, which I would say is probably a pretty important role. Yes. Um, Scarlett Johansson claimed that the voice of chat GPT is a clone of her voice from the movie, her, although now there's word that it, isn't and and somebody came forward saying i represent the person that was the voice so that's still a little bit to be determined but nonetheless still kind of an interesting um, sidebar in this whole thing um and then just recently last week OpenAI and news corp agreed to a content sharing deal where some of the content across um some of the newspapers uh, new york times for example will now be kind of shared across on, on chat gpt and open ai as well so um OpenAI is rolling, whether they're rolling in a positive fashion or a negative fashion or both, they're rolling right now. What would you say, out of all the things that have happened in the past few months, what part of that whole story is most interesting to you? Um, yeah, I, I think just simply the pace of advancement is, is interesting in itself. I mean, as you mentioned, GPT-4.0 is out now and having used that um, and the, the chat feature, uh, it's, it is incredible you know it's uh, it's scary <laughs> but it is incredible that how far the tech has come um and yeah the, the response time is i believe it's down to 300 milliseconds which is essentially what you would expect from having a two-way conversation with another person yeah it's extremely quick um so that's that's mind-blowing but like i say it is a bit scary it also is all a bit black mirror um but yeah the, the thing that i find i guess most interesting and unfortunately also scary is the, the people leaving that you mentioned. Two very high profile people, um, Ilya Sutskever, who was the chief scientist, and uh, Jan Leica, or Leica, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but he was um, the co-leader of the, what was the name of the team? Super Alignment Team, which is, uh, as you mentioned, the team who focuses on sort of safety, the safety of humanity as we start to try and build these machines which are smarter than we are. Um, so yes, the fact that these people left, and, and Jan Lika uh, actually made quite a few comments on uh, Twitter about his concerns that the original goals of, of OpenAI, which were to be, you know, to be open and to um, make something which is for the benefit of humanity and safe to use, he had serious concerns that those goals were no longer really in the sights of OpenAI and that they had lost their way. And when the person who's in charge of making sure the human race doesn't get wiped out leaves your company, that's concerning. not a good thing. Yeah, that's not a good thing to me. Um, so yeah, but uh, like you say, a very very interesting time. We don't have anybody at Strong Coffee in charge of making sure the human race gets wiped out. <laughs> so <laughs> might be something we want to look at. Sure. Yeah. In the future, I'll talk to the guys see what we can come up with. <laughs> yeah, and you're right that those two key departures, and there were others as well. Those were kind of the key ones, but there were others as well. That's quite concerning. Um, and yeah, the speed of which everything is happening. You think about, you know, back in the early days of social media, where social media tools and channels were rolling out, and we thought that was quick. Like, oh, there's another one. Here comes another one. And we've documented many of them on the podcast, um, some of the ones that worked and some of the ones that failed. Um, we thought that was lightning fast. And now you think about what's happening with AI and open AI and all these tools that are coming out now. You can't even keep up. Like, I guarantee you from the time we recorded the first version of this podcast that didn't work on Friday to now here on Monday morning, I bet you if we went and did some digging, there's probably three or four new things that happened that wow. didn't, that hadn't happened yet when we recorded last time, which yeah, is, which, which is crazy. Um, for me on the, which, what's the most interesting side is the idea of AGI or uh, artificial general intelligence and whether or not that's kind of being achieved maybe in the in the background is kind of what's most interesting to me so i guess when we talk about this idea of of agi what exactly is it well i saw an interview with with sam altman and and they somebody asked him well what what is it to you and obviously people have different answers etc and he basically said 
It was the equivalent to a human that you could hire as a coworker and it would learn things like a human. So less just about giving it data and then it spits it back out to you and more about how like a human, it starts to figure things out on its own and learn how to do things on its own. And while that is extremely powerful and very interesting, it's ridiculously kind of scary too, where if all of a sudden you've almost created a human in the form of a of non-human, a computer, if you will, or a program, and it has the ability to learn and do things on its own, you know, it's almost like a virtual coworker, right? Um, so to me, the most interesting is that's kind of the genie in the bottle. And if you think about some of the things that have happened going back to the end of last year, where you know, something happened where there was a bit of a fuss over there and Sam Altman was, was removed and all this kind of, then he came back. Um, I'm almost wondering, like, maybe they've already achieved it. And you can go and look online and you'll see a million different articles of people speculating. Obviously, no one really knows unless you're in the room. But if that genie is already being created and it's in a bottle right now, everything that needs to happen out there to ensure that genie stays in the bottle and when it does come out, it doesn't just ruin humanity is interesting and concerning. So, uh, yeah, where is it? Who knows? And it, it'll be interesting to see where that ends up going. Um, that's kind of the million dollar question right now is, you know, the stuff that they're putting out right now, chat GPT um, 4.0, well, that's been in development for a while and it doesn't get released until, you know, a little bit down the road. What's in the hopper for them right now? Absolutely. If, uh, that's that's yeah. the question. Like you say, I think it's it's very fair to assume that they are the technology that they have behind closed doors has got to be a year or two perhaps advanced of what we're what we're seeing and when the things that we're seeing are as uh as ridiculous and, and yeah, yeah. Um as yeah. this is then I, I think it's yeah, a very big question, like you say, where they are behind closed doors. And I, you know, in doing some research for this too, if you're ever looking to kill a little bit of time, there's a couple rabbit holes you can go down. You can go down the Q star rabbit hole, which is one thing. Um, the other one that I found intriguing and concerning is the P doom rabbit hole. Yes. Now, you know a little bit about P doom too. Do you want to explain what P doom is? Um, yeah. So P doom is the probability of doom, whereby doom would be the extinction of the human race. And a lot of people have very varying um, estimates on where the probability of doom actually lies. But uh, so, yeah, some people are saying, oh, it's between 10 and 90 percent, which is obviously a pretty big window. But the thing that concerned me, I think, was one of the people that left uh, OpenAI very recently. His probability of doom was 70 percent, which seems very concerningly high to me. <laughs> yes, that's uh, you know, I would say five is concerningly high. Yeah. And then you see some of the numbers from people that have either been in the room or are very much around yeah. the things that are going on right now and their numbers are higher. It's, it's interesting time. So mm -hmm. um, we'll see where this all goes. But I do think, you know, AI being rolled out in a safe manner has so many benefits. There's so many things that it can help us with and, and solve problems and, and, you know, make life easier and better for people. It's just going to come down to, can we as humans roll it out properly, keep it safe, be responsible. And that remains to be seen. So. Sure.